uh, this is the dimension of the honey box or the topping for itama basically 14 inch times 14 inch times 3 3 the height okay so the uh, the dimension the width and long this is the common use in in in, in here in Malaysia okay and for thoracica is much bigger so you may think that bigger size produce more yield but that is not the case because if you use too big it's harder for the stingless bee to manage they don't like too spacey so you have to keep that space at optimum dimension so that that is not a correct mentality bigger mean more yield no. no so even if you use wrong dimension so what happen they will seal I mean they, they want to go up because it, when they go up oh it's too large too spacey how we can manage so this is the dimension the dimension of the um, box hive okay box hive means the bottom one for itama i think this is around six six eight inch i don't know the six six around that that size lah. Uh, for thoracica much larger because they are they are they are uh, i mean uh, the individual are larger than the itama okay Oops. okay uh hive placement uh, this one i want to discuss so you have to select a good site of okay where, where you want to put your yeah, condition consideration of factor that must pay attention like the uh, source source of resource source of food okay so you need to know if if the place is don't have enough food you have to put effort to provide the food but maybe we will take some time uh, some time don't put uh, in place are uh, too barren uh, places that has just been cleared up <laughs> It's not a good site, okay. Uh, and then wa water source, the so accessibility of, of course, okay. You don't put too far from you. If anything happen or you want to check, it's going to be trouble for you, okay. Uh, and then don't not to what uh, place is not too damp, okay. And then the distance between the hive, okay is uh, like four feet okay and then don't place the entrance facing if if you have okay four feet in between okay fine but you the or the the tube don't put face to face they will fight they will be conflicted okay and also in in general singles be pose no problem to human because they don't sting they don't they don't sting even if they happen to okay go into some spot of your in your house you can easily relocate okay so the the, 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 the it is suitable to put a, a near your your home but in in here, here in Malaysia in, especially in residential area lah uh, the issue is that uh, when uh, dengue cases, the health uh, department will come and then they do perform the fumigation, like here. Right. So you have to uh, take action. Uh, to, uh, for example, uh, you you no notify the notify the authority lah. Don't blast or use fumigation in this spot, especially because we have singles B or you can cover you you cover your hive with plastic bag or garbage bag be cover, cover the whole lot cover the whole lot so when the fumigation happen so the uh, smoke doesn't go into the hive if that smoke go into the hive that's it you remember this it that this is a confined space you know, confined nowhere except for the entrance so if the the smoke go in i think that's it so you have to 
uh, careful on that. And then if you place on the farm, you have to identify uh, the nature of the farm, whether the farm use a lot of pesticide, okay? So you have to avoid place or farm that which use a lot of pesticides, okay? Okay, these are the <coughs> uh, uh, step on placing, decide the best location, like I told you. You have to determine where is the best spot you want to put. And that's going to be a permanent spot. You, are not, you, have, you have no plan to remove okay, to another place. And then you have a hive stand. Uh, hive stand, this is a, a good practice. You have a hive stand. Okay, half stand. The total length is about minimum of the stand is three feet, because another feet you going to put into the ground, so only two feet remain erected from the ground. Another feet is one feet is in the ground. Uh, so this is an example, uh, the erected uh, stand hive, okay, using steel. And uh, uh, the next step, okay, you clean and trim the log hive, okay, clean. Okay, you clean. Okay, you trim. So you you mark. Okay, this is this side up, and then you know this is the entrance. Okay, you cut this part where, until you find the bottom part, and then you seal, seal permanently, seal on the bottom, and the top. You usually cut until you find the brood cell. Until you find the brood cell, and then you cover. But the, this one that you remove, you don't throw away, you, you keep it. You keep it and then uh, later when you put the topping box, you put it back. Okay, you put it back. Uh, so this is the, the step, seal the top and the bottom part. And place the half stand, secure using screw and put the topping and the proof. 